What's up, guys, and welcome to episode 6 of my critical car mode. Last episode, I wasn't able to use the face cam. We're fourth on La Liga table with 45 points, and we have Villarreal, Sevilla, and Real Madrid ahead of us. Villarreal and Sevilla are on the same points as us, and they're just ahead of us because of goal difference. So if we can win our next, our next couple of matches, and hope that they at least lose or maybe we might actually end up second on this thing in our first season but it's not likely because i keep on saying it's our first season so it's very very hard to actually think that we'll actually finish in the champions league position but if we do it's be really nice i mean with the way the team has been playing i would actually like to go for at least a conference league position or a a Europa League sports. If you guys didn't watch last episode and the episodes before that, you should definitely go check it out. The links are in the description below. Don't miss out on previous episodes. You need to watch those and also subscribe to the channel as well as turn on the post notifications so that you're notified of when videos drop and shit like that. We have a couple of matches to play in this episode and this is going to be the first of many against Osasuna. It's in the um Copa del Rey and I'm not really actually interested in that. Madike is low on health. It's actually pronounced Madike because that's actually a Nigerian name. Let's just switch up the players that I want to switch up. I played a 4-3-3 with one holding defender in the last episode. And if this if this formation doesn't work for me in this for most of the matches in this episode, then I'm going to switch to that one like permanently. Or I might just create a new team sheet. We're going to study or start out with this team and let's hope that we are able to get the win. And yes, we do a really, really resounding 3-0 when we have Rise, James, and and Kallenberg. So hopefully that match actually brings morale to the team for the rest of the matches. And we, why do we have two two um Copa del Rey matches in one in one month? Or rather at the same goal. Is that how it works in the La Liga? I actually have no idea. But I haven't seen anybody that is really important in this Spain side. And as for Netherlands, I still don't see oh there's this guy. His overall is not that good, but because of his potential is really high, I wouldn't really mind signing him. And this guy as well. This guy is actually might just be the best out of everybody I've signed. Yeah, seven hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. Next up is the match against OSK in another Copa del Rey match. And I'm going to sim this one as well. Let's hope we get the win. And we do a really, really good good win at that. Get another three goal gap. Thanks to Reese's Braves, Nuno Fonseca, and our Captain James. It sounded like I almost called him Captain James there. <laughs> I think I should actually just call him Captain James now because I mean his name is Calvin James, so I mean it makes sense if I just call him Captain James. Right, so we have yet another Copa del Rey match, and I'm actually curious to see what this thing actually is because we're in round of 16 right now and we let you just play the round of 32 round of 16 and we're about to play the quarterfinals in wait real madrid barcelona and atletico madrid are missing we actually have a chance of winning this thing so i might i might just play the highlights of this sevilla match to make sure that i do my best in trying to win it so that we can get all the way to the finals and if we do that would be awesome so i really don't know how those three top teams got knocked out but i mean it's good for us let's quickly change the kit for sevilla here to something more fucking sensible let's go with their red then for our team fonteca is actually low in health so i'm going to start cabrera i think this is going to be the first time i'm going to be starting cabrera and playing him maduke is um okay so i'm going to put Rise in for kalimberg there and maybe i'll put flores for donovan and i think i am good so let's try and make this match a memorable one and actually go all out here and make sure we take advantage of every single one of our opportunities i mean i really really fuck up a lot in this playing highlights even in real matches too I and mean, i actually need to fucking calm down and actually play this shit right and let's not regret this okay it's going to be a corner in the 35th minute wow that's a lot and yet again i forgot to actually change this thing to to kalimberg so i think I'm just, I'm just going to do that here oh i can't i can't change it during the playable highlights so well, kalimberg is not even in the match okay all right and uh, donovan isn't here as well so i think helvig is the going to be our main target for the are we still going to get the ball okay we still do and uh, okay that was a really dumb fucking slide please give give him a red card because that made no sense at all like i don't know why they keep on fucking sliding like that over here okay so we have Rise here on the ball i think he, he basically is the best out of every single person in this team right now so let's see if it's going to be the first one to bag a free kick for this team hopefully he is and okay it was it was on target and it was pretty much really fucking slow all right so we have maduke on the wing there we're in the 48th minute so it's not really i don't know who the fuck i'm supposed to give this ball to i'm just going to give it okay that, that didn't that didn't work out it's six minutes and we're still nil nil but we have a good opportunity here that i have no idea what the fuck just happened i'm going to pass it back 
and then give it to Rise, try to give it to Oh my fucking god, that was that was sad. Okay, we have one more counter attack here and it's looking like this is going to be a sure goal because we have our our striker who had decided not to fucking run. But we have German here who's going for going for a goal and no one is there. No one is there. No one is there to help him. Oh my fucking god. Oh my freaking god, that was so close. And they literally just scored. 2-0 and I do not know how the fuck they just did that and we have lost the match. At the beginning of this match I, le I legit talked about trying to make the most of our opportunities and we did not and look at what happened. We've lost Sevilla, we're out of the cover array and this was our best fucking chance to win this thing because Ma because Madrid, Atletico Madrid and Barcelona were out of the competition but we've lost and there's something we can do about it. If only Rize had scored that at the end there, I mean, I don't really blame him. Like, it was a lot of pressure and it was really hard to actually get that accurately in that kind of situation, especially for a player of his caliber. We have Almeria to play against now and let's hope that we are able to get the win and we win it this time as well. Kallenberg is the one that got the goal. Next up, we have Real Betis. This was the first team we ever played against in the La Liga and we won the match. It was a, it was a really good finish at the end of the of the match and let's see if Fonseca is going to be able to get us that win again I'm going to be putting Rise in for Kallenberg or, or no let's not do that I think I'm just going to go with this lineup here let's change this thing thank what I remember this time I want to change the free kick to Kallenberg I'm actually really hoping that we do not fuck up in this match I hope our players actually go out there guns blazing and do everything they can to get this win and that's Fonseca we have a T4 I think that's the first time I've actually seen a T4 of Fonseca in this stadium and I really don't mind that at all we have a match against Ruben now and they're pretty tough side. We have the care and that's going to be our main problem. That's if they've not already sold him yet though. And that is a really good picture of Fonseca in the stands. Let's just jump straight into kickoff and let's see if we will be able to get the win. I should have worn my alternate I should have worn my alternate kit because it's snowing and I do not want to wear white shit while it's snowing because I get easily confused and shit. Let's see if we can get this and we do and that's our first interception. Okay, that was that was good and we still have the ball here give it to Fonseca and shit that was a really good interception for them all right they're in on goal not too long away from our opportunity just now and Donovan does a really good job getting away and let's just play it away because I really have no no time to fuck up there they have some of the counter attack here, so let's just try and defend this as best as we can I have no idea what just happened there I think they were offside Okay, that was really, really close. That was really fucking close. And we still have an opportunity for a really good chance. And no, it's, it's gone. It's gone. I just need to be able to find space to shoot. And that's what I really don't have right now. That was a really good header from German boy. Unluckily enough, for, unlucky, unluckily for him, he hit the, the post. that I really honestly cannot see in this match right now because of this bloody fucking snow on the field. And... Okay, so I, mean, I would have wanted a counter attack right now, but there's really no space for one. And let's see if I can try and set up German here. Hopefully, and no, I can't. The defender is too strong and he holds him off. Okay, this is a good. Oh my god. Oh my god, the passes had to be way better than that. Okay, that was a premature slide, but I was still able to do the job. And good interception. Hopefully, we still have the ball here. German, come on, make the run. That is a fucking beautiful pass. And what can you do? What can you do? Give Maduke and nice too. The pass is too fucking slow. So that's the first half goal. I didn't even know that time had gone that fast. We've basically been the better side, and for some reason, we just weren't able to get the goal. Worst case scenario, let's just be able to get the goal at the dying minute of this match because I would actually really want that to happen. Let's try and make the most of our opportunities. I keep on saying that, but I always end up fucking up. And I, I, I just like that. Just like that. I wasn't even done talking. No, that was a good opportunity there. And oh my days, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful fucking pass from German. That was a beautiful fucking pass from German. And our calendar is, is is dancing from German to the German. I really wasn't expecting that pass to be that fucking perfect. I thought he was going to flunk it or something like that, but he actually got it 
spot on in the part of Kallenberg and there's no way he was going to miss from there. Beautiful fucking goal. So I'm bringing Rize in for German and I mean I need I need speed right now. I need to be able to. Okay, that was a, the very first good opportunity and he's off. There's no way they're going to catch him. This guy is fucking fast. Please get your goal. Get your goal and that was a simple finish. But the keeper had no fucking chance. That is Rise coming on and getting a really, really beautiful goal yet again. Yet another very well worked goal. And to be honest, there's no way this guy is going to miss from there because he's really fast. There was no way the, the defense was going to catch up to him. Okay, so we have a, an opportunity for Maduke, and that was yet another chance for him to score. But he was he wasn't able to capitalize on that. It was a good save from the keeper there. And to Donovan, and oh my God, that was actually so close that was actually so close i'm going to give it to fonseca here who doesn't really get anything on it and we are back to square one with Rise. let's see what we can do let's cross cross play a little bit back to fonseca no one is there back to fonseca again and we lose the ball but, but, but we still have it there let's give it to Zaracho real quick here and then shit okay, they took the corner short and let's see if we can get this here so that we can unleash a counter attack and then we have Rise. so everything should be okay there's no way no way no way i'm not scoring this no way i'm not scoring this no way he wasn't going to score that oh that was the perfect time to do a freaking power shot and he got it while leading robert is 3-0 in our home and man this guy this guy is on fucking fire i think i think that position is actually perfect for him i don't know why the development schedule has him gotten him to the right winger yet i'm pretty sure i did it but i don't know why it's not it's not he's not a right winger yet so the team basically died i put donovan on the left and i put flores in for stewart and or i, I think that's a dumb idea so let me just take donovan off or rather take um helvig off and leave donovan in the team and then um kallenberg is going to go off here for alvarez and that's that should be all i want to do Okay, that was a scary chance, but Badger was able to deal with it as, as usual. And we have an opportunity here, but for some reason, we weren't able to pass that quite right. And Fonseca should be able to get this, but the defender just puts him off there and can't really get that anymore. But we basically already won the match, and there's really no chance for any... Really no need for any more fights, but I'm still going to try and get as many goals as possible i have no idea why madiki is really fucking up all all of these passes right now but i mean it's fine it's fine all right so that's the end of the match and to be honest i have not seen this team play as good as this since the match against real madrid to be honest that was a wild performance because i don't even know i mean they did so well in the first half and then they were able to get a reward for their effort in the second half three goals donovan did really well in this match Rise as well did really well and who was the person that got the last goal i think it was kallenberg i really can't remember who got the first goal but Rise did get the second and third goal okay it was kallenberg that got the goal so yeah it was a really good match for the boys next up we're traveling to nuevo mirandia to play Cadiz in their home and i made a mistake earlier they were the first team that we played and i played real betis after but we're not going to be playing the match we're going to be simming it let's put Rise in for maduke because he has been doing absolutely fucking amazing and hopefully we get the win away from home I, I really i really really hope that we do but we do not we draw the match fonseca and Rise is on the scoreboard yet again we are now third and from the looks of it sevilla choked and lost a match and drew one as well because they are 49 points and we are still drawn on points with villarreal where is barcelona they are sixth and atletico madrid is fifth it's a really bad season for them considering that we're almost at the end but if we do get champions league football in our first season that will be fucking mad so this match against real Valladolid is going to be the last of the episode i'm just going to change their kits real quick and let's give them their away jersey because that's the least likely to clash with mine it's not snowing hopefully is it okay no it's not snowing before i start the match i just want to check something real quick i have no idea why Rise has not been changed to a this thing a right winger it says okay okay so this option has been here for like forever and i did not know that he has jumped up to a 79 rating let's make sure that he's a an inverted winger that works on his finishing and so you can see his sprint speed is actually 99 and his acceleration is 98 and i'm working with the attack only highlight here let's hope that we actually do get the win because it's actually a lot harder to um win matches with the playable highlights i noticed maybe it's just me because i actually happen to make the worst fucking decisions when it comes to attacking 
but I mean, it's not harder for me to score, and I just really hope that I win this. I mean, I could have just I could, I could have played the full highlights, like um, both attack and defense, but I really do not want to be put in a situation where I'm annoyed because of how bad the defending is. So we're starting now, and Fonseca kicks off, and let's see what we have first. We are in the fifth minute. It's a it's a regular attack, and let's just hope that we can at least get a goal straight off the bat here. And of course, I do that. And let's see if we can get someone of any importance. We do not want making any runs inside the box for some reason. And we have Stewart with a goal, his first goal of the club. That was really, really good finishing. And I really do not know what their keeper was doing that he wasn't able to get that. So that was straight at him. But he wasn't able to get the goal. And that's good for us. We get our first goal in the team, in the in the in the match rather. And we are in the 86 minute. That was that was fast. And it's a counter attack. Let's hope. Let's hope for the best right now. I'll give it to Fonseca. And there's no way you should miss this. No fucking way you should miss that. And that is a last minute goal for Fonseca. Yet again, this man is Mr. Clutch, to be honest, because he literally scores a lot at the dying minutes of every match. And we should have won this match from this goal. Hopefully, we did. Because that was, that was a really good attack. Really good pass from Halleberg to, to begin with. And final pass from German was absolutely spot on. I feel like their, their pass is actually a lot better. It was quite scary that they equalized there and they, we jumped from the, strip, from the first half to the 86 minutes so I really had to step up and score that goal for the club. So thanks for Fonteca and, that, and this man, very very unexpected goal for him. Very fucking unexpected goal and that was sick. That was a really good end to the match there and Villarreal is still being stubborn. They have not conceded and we are right here again deja vu the next match the, the first match of next episode is going to be this one against barcelona they are like a couple points below us i think they are sixth position yeah they are sixth and we just have to be able to hold them we're going to the new camp this time around even though that stadium is not in the game i'm still going to say it the match is just right around the corner here in march and we're going to be facing Barcelona and Real Madrid next episode that's going to be fucking tough so before we end the episode let me just look at the scouting reports I'm not seeing anybody that is of any importance in this list right now and it's actually really fucking disappointing that we don't actually get anybody that is of any actual value to us so the squad sharpness is good the morale is good and the fitness is shit all that really doesn't matter because they will eventually get full also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already turn on post notifications so that you can notified of when videos drop I'm going to be posting this particular series every day at 4 p.m. West African time, which will be GMT plus one if I'm not wrong. Anyways, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the team right now and also what you guys think about how we're going to do against Real Madrid and Barcelona in the next episode. Putting in consideration the performance that we had in this episode, it was really, really good. So anyways, thank you guys for watching once again and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.